through the pain. It's getting so cold. Emmett, what are you doing? Hooray! See, that wasn't so bad. Nothing got in. Ah, something got in. Well done in the film. It's absolutely brilliant. Thank oh, you. Cheers. You've been down this road before with Lego Movie yeah. and Lego Batman. Yeah. What's the pressure like to kind of live up to it? Because the bar is so high. I don't know. I don't really feel that pressure. I, I, I think that, uh, you know, we just try to... I'm really lucky to have, you know, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, uh, who are such brilliant guys, kind of at the helm of the ship. And, um, you know, I just trust that they're going to do something fun and inventive every time. And you're never going to recreate that first feeling you get when you see something new, necessarily. Really, it's more about how can we take what we got, be good stewards of it, and then just make it even better. And, you know, one of the great things I did was bring in Tiffany, who brings a lot of energy and a lot of laughs, um, and really helps tell the story in a new way. I'm General Mayhem. Bring me your fiercest leader. Lucy! Emmett! Ah! And what was it like know. coming into that world? Yeah. <laughs> What See energy that energy? Are you talking about? See that energy? It's incredible. Yeah. It was really fun yeah. coming into the world. It was fun to be a part of a. I've never been part of a franchise before. Mm -hmm. That wasn't like you I know, have a I, group on, but I worked um, Jack and the they helped me months, with so. the uh, my vocal training. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah. I'm a queen, whatever I would not be. I'm getting super evil vibes here. I could change my form to something else if this makes you more comfortable. Hey guys. No, go back. The horse was much more palatable. When you were going in to start recording for the day, is there any kind of phrase that gets you into the zone of your characters? Baby daddy, baby daddy, baby daddy, baby daddy, baby daddy, baby daddy, child support, child support, child support, child support, child support, child support. Let's go. Darkness. And I'm in. Nice. Straight in there. And what do your kids make of having a Batman in the house? Uh, well, they love it. it. They have a lot of fun with it. You know, they were they voiced uh, characters in in Lego Batman, um, and so that was fun for them. And they they're they're big fans. I, I was I was I'm happy that I haven't ruined um, the movie going experience for them mm -hmm. by virtue of the fact that they like to watch it and they'll watch they'll still watch the original Lego movie or, or Lego Batman, um, and their friends all like it. So that's cool. I got a play phone and a play phone. I gotta get it, baby. <laughs> no, it did not. Hey. They're both such great characters. Is there any kind of little part of them that you've nearly taken home with you, or would you want to take anything home? I thought that they wrote Queen Whatever Would Not Be off of me because I am whatever I want to be. I mean, I live that life and I transform on a daily basis. How many different hairstyles you see me with? 40. That part. What about you? Uh, probably 39. Oh, wait, are you still asking oh. my hairstyles? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, um, I, I try not to take too much of, you know, Batman's pretty dark. Mm. And although in this movie he gets transformed because, well, you'll see, because. And, uh. <laughs> oh, I'll take the laugh out of it. Yeah, the laugh. <laughs> Actually, evil laugh. Use, I use the evil laugh for all my ex-boyfriends that try to call. Oh, nice. And I just laugh in the phone, the evil laugh. And that's my way of saying, uh -uh. I told you so. It's great how it kind of blends the comedy and then the lovely message with the two. Um, is that, do you find that's important, especially when everything is an awesome in the real world, to kind of have that joy? Yeah, um, it's nice to have, this is a fun movie that's got a lot, of, it's got a great message. And the one that I love the most is, you know, the idea of kind of, we need to focus more on how we're alike rather than how we're different and find that commonality, find that common ground. Because uh, we live in a world that's increasingly divided and everybody is standing firm on, well, I'm like this and I'm like this and I'm the kind of person who this and I'm this and I'm this and respect this. And all of a sudden, all we've done is just build all these walls and drawn lines around and we're all very similar and we should spend more time doing that, I think. But what do I know? Just everything. <laughs> you do know everything. Mm -hmm. You know everything. Mm -hmm. Lucy! Em, did you draw stubble dots on your face? What? No. <laughs> Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare. You're me when I'm late to school and I forgot my homework and my pants are made of pudding? No, I don't. Ha! Lucy. 